And next in line is Flame Man. I decided to go ahead and get two videos out of the way while I'm still thinking about it. Flame Man, I have not spent a lot of time on, I will admit that. I don't generally play this level a lot, and I don't really like the boss. It's a unique level, though, with the oil and the flames that can ignite it. That was a really awesome element to put into the game. It really keeps you on your toes, too. You gotta watch out and make sure you don't end up getting yourself killed in the oil. That night chain is probably one of the more useful weapons in this game. It has a low ammo cost, and it just in general it's a really powerful weapon. And best of all, it's got the kind of Metal Man ability to where you can aim it up or down. Still not as good as Metal Blade, though. I don't think any weapon will be. And right there, the health power-up caused me a little bit of trouble. It made me kind of rejudge my direction. I had to fix that. I don't play this level a whole lot, so there's quite a few times where I end up taking some unnecessary hits. But it's a pretty short level, though. I'm already right near the end. The hardest part about this level is just dodging all of the fire and not getting killed by the oil. And the boss is pretty easy with his weakness as usual. He's actually a pretty hard boss fight if you just take him on with the buster. Because his fire does a lot of damage and whenever he does the wall flame like that, you can't shoot past that. So you pretty much have to wait for him to either jump into the air or just give you an opening. His ability is pretty nice though and it is really handy in the level we're just about to do, which is Blizzard Man. You get Fire Blast and the Rush Power Adapter, which I will try to demonstrate a little bit soon as well. And that's it for this video. Until next time.